Welcome to this episode of WikiWalks, a short podcast devoted to some of the more intriguing and, huh, who knew, articles that you can run across in the weird world of Wikipedia. I'm your host, Chris Grismer. If you've followed music at all over the last 60 years, you've probably seen a story or two about some insane demands from some diva-ish musicians that just seem like they're trying to be the absolute worst kind of people. Oh, just the worst. Kanye West reportedly requires a barber's chair. Mariah Carey insists on two vases of white roses. My question is, why not three? But rock band Van Halen had one of the most oddly specific requests of all. A bowl of M&M candies, but with all the brown ones removed. All right. On the surface, this just seems like the most David Lee Roth thing ever. Doing this strictly to be a pain... Classic rock star behavior. Maybe this was all just the stuff of rock and roll legends. Who knows? Or maybe, just maybe, the truth is actually even more interesting. You see, at the time, Van Halen was breaking new ground in complicated show setups. A typical rock concert at the time would require three semi-trucks full of equipment to set up. Lighting rigs, sound consideration, platforms. However, Van Halen's concert setup needed nine semi-trucks in order to put on a show. It was an enormous undertaking, with a million moving parts that had to be just right. In now-departed arenas such as Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens, the original Boston Garden, and Chicago Stadium, these buildings were never built to accommodate a rock band of Van Halen's scope. Without specific guidelines, old floors could buckle and collapse, beams could rupture, and the lives of the band, their crew, and fans could be at serious risk. Even today, concert building can be a deadly affair. In 2011, a staged collapse under high winds at the Indiana State Fair on August 13th, and it killed five people and injured more than 40. This isn't something to mess around with. So, with Van Halen, the contract writer looked like a phone book because there was so much equipment and it required countless human beings to make it function. And in the technical aspect of the writer, it would say something like, Article 148, there will be 15 amperage voltage sockets at 22 spaces, evenly, providing 19 amperes, blah, 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 that kind of thing. And Article number 126, in the middle of absolute nowhere in this thing, was, there will be no brown M&Ms in the backstage area, upon pain of forfeiture of the show, with full compensation. That's right, if they were to find brown M&Ms, Van Halen said, we might just cancel the show, but we're going to take all the sales, it all goes to us, that's it. So, why would they do that? I mean, that obviously seems a little crazy, right? But, according to frontman David Lee Roth, quote, When I would walk backstage, if I saw a brown M&M in that bowl, I knew we'd need to line check the entire production. Guaranteed, you're going to arrive at a technical error. They didn't read the contract. Guaranteed, you're going to run into a problem. Sometimes it would threaten to destroy the whole show. Something literally life-threatening. End quote. What looked like total diva-esque behavior was actually a shrewd business canary in the coal mine test. Although, to be fair, David Lee Roth would also then trash the band's dressing room to prove a point, reinforcing his reputation in the process. So, there you go. Details matter. And when it comes to infrastructure that could put people's life in jeopardy, no needles within a haystack should be overlooked. So the next time you read about some ridiculous writer in a musician's contract, before you judge, just know that maybe that one throwaway demand might exist to save your life.